otherwise known as Bradley Hunt and Otavio Colombro. A very good morning. Why did you thank Simon for sending you home? I don't know. Hmm? Thank you, Simon. Out, yes. out of courtesy, I think. It's, <laughs> it's not important to stay polite, I think. Yeah. Good manners and grace will get you yeah. everywhere. I mean, look, right. I mean, look, here's the thing. You two are an acquired taste. I'm not entirely sure I ever acquired it. <laughs> Do you accept you're slightly, you know, a mm -hmm. little bit out yeah. there in terms of yeah, contestants? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we always knew we, we were, we were going to be different. Not everyone was going to like us. But who cares? We, you know, we stay true to who we were. So is it hurtful, though, to be described as... The guinea pig versus the racehorse, the novelty act. Oh, that's, the just, show. that's just Simon. You'll do anything for t good TV. <laughs> yeah, and Sarah was on some next level. She was amazing. So, you know, from yeah, Paris. It's fair to say she's got quite, quite a pair of pipes on her, that mm. one, hasn't she? What are you going to do next? Um, we'd like to do more TV, um, <sighs> hopefully Big Brother, maybe. Oh, we'd like to go on everything. So. You're about to go on? We'd like to go on every channel. Maybe Jamie Kyle? Okay. Jeremy <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> You're going to go on Jeremy Kyle. No uh, jokes. <laughs> no, we'd like we'd like to do Big Brother. We'd like uh, potentially a presenting career if it, if it comes. What are you thinking? Good Morning Britain, maybe? <laughs> no, yeah, because you two are yours. too good. We yeah, could never you take yours. Thank you. Yeah, that's yeah, a very well good. Place I knew I liked you. Well, very very enlightening interview, chaps. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Best of luck with your careers. Thank you. And, Thank uh, you. Do you yeah. feel enlightened? I feel like yeah. I know more about you than I did to start with. Okay, good. <laughs> more of Diamonds okay. joins us now. How could anyone risk you leaving? Your voices are so brilliant together. What a set of pipes on these girls. I know. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, thank you. I think based on the performance last night, it was definitely the right choice to um, have the girls here today, obviously, totally. having gone through um, with the greatest respect to uh, Relly. But how did it feel? I mean, it, it must have been heartbreaking. Oh, it was so awful. You know, you're on that stage and you just got to sing for your life. Mm. And, you know, it's everything that you want and you're just bringing everything. I think we really connected and yeah. we just showed. And you have all been on such a roller coaster ride, haven't you? Because you're in and you're out, <laughs> then you're in yeah. again. I mean, how oh, difficult is it for you not knowing, you know, not having known what's going on? I think it's just kind of like we have faith in each other and that's all that matters. Like, we just need to believe in ourselves. Obviously, there are people out there that do believe in us because we wouldn't be sat here yeah. right now. Um, and we just are grateful for that. We just need to keep working harder. So, Lauren, you must have the best and most understanding employees in the world because you all quit your jobs <laughs> and then you went back to them and then you quit them again. Yeah, so, what are, you all, what, what are you all doing currently? Um, so... <laughs> Well, nothing now. Well, no, <laughs> I'm doing the show now. Um, but before, I literally worked in Sainsbury's in the supermarket. Right, so then okay. I quit my job when we got to judges' houses because the show does require a lot of commitment. Yeah. And then um, when we didn't get through, I was like, oh, God, back to normal line. <laughs> um, so I had to knock on the door and say, Skip home. Come on, no, no. I, 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 um, I literally got like a last minute like catering um, job. And then two shifts in, I got a phone call to say we were back. And they literally. <laughs> Actually, text me on the Saturday. <laughs> uh, no, it was the Sunday, saying, "Can you work next weekend?" And I was like, um, really? "Have you seen the news?" <laughs> <laughs> it was well, like, well, that's a good get out of jail free card, isn't it? You know? Yeah, yeah. it's not exactly the dog ate my homework, is it? I'm actually on national television. Do yeah, you so mind? Has that meant? Though? I mean, you know, obviously, you haven't had as much time as the others to prepare for all this, to even get your heads around the fact that this is all happening. Yeah, it was so hard at first, wasn't it? Like mm. we we're playing catch up that first week back. But I think we've caught up now, and we're ready for Saturday. We can't yeah. wait. You've got a great fringe going on. Thank you so much. Very much. So what have you got planned then? Because it's Halloween week, isn't mm. it, next week? It's always a good one. We wanna, Fright night, yeah. yeah. We want to go back to, like, our original kind yeah. of selves. Do you remember, like, at Judges' Houses mm. and when we first came on the scene? We feel like we've kind of got a bit caught up in it all and as much, we're loving it like yeah. don't there's not one thing that we haven't enjoyed but i think we need to kind of just strip it back yeah. and louis is your mentor of course how has it been working with him how supportive has he been <laughs> how is it for you <laughs> seriously oh, no. he's amazing it's just lovely to see him out the house isn't it <laughs> he's great he's great with us you know he gets to know us all individually as well he spends a lot of time with us he comes in in the dressing rooms and talks to us he's yeah. great and he tells it like it is louis does it i mean he's oh, very yeah. passionate yeah, and really he really does. tells it like it is. he doesn't does mince it. his words I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he won't dress it up. He that a bit too much, he tells you, does he? Yeah, it's Nothing funny. that they can repeat at this <laughs> time in the morning, I think. Mean. There's, there's no sieve, is there? It's just, it happens in here, yeah. it comes out the mouth straight away, which is good, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Now, there's been a lot of talk about you not having enough sass, which is kind of getting on my nerves now, because I think, how much more sass can you girls bring? <laughs> and maybe that's almost taken you, like you were saying, in the wrong direction. Yeah. yeah. 
I think as a girl band, like, you know, there's not room for another little mix. So you have to, we have to be mm. different. And I think we're trying to get a more cool, kind of edgy with the harmonies yeah. rather than that kind of sexiness that they're kind of asking for. But I think what they mean is confidence. They want mm. us to be confident. At a very exciting house. How much to you see Kate in a birthday suit, Richard? Oh, I don't even want to conjure with that image with my snap, crackle and pop this morning, Benjamin. But the good news is I'm fully clothed here at the X Factor house in North London. It's all very footballers' wives, isn't it? What a posh gaff this is. As I said before the break, over three million it would cost you to live in a house like this. Let's go through the keyhole and meet some of the contestants here. There are only six bedrooms, so you do the maths. There were 16 contestants in total at the beginning, of course, and the production staff and the crew and security so it gets a little bit cozy in here oh look on fine form can someone fix me a dirty martini quite dirty as well quite dark um, look boys five after midnight how you doing good to see you lads you're really playing that as well aren't you and look at you holding a note as well save it for the show sir save it for the show um guys it's been lovely seeing you uh, grow on the show over the last uh, few weeks does it feel like a lifetime since you started it feels like ages ago we like started the first audition process boot camp six chairs judges houses yeah. It's just, it feels like so long and it's actually not even been that's that crazy. Long. <laughs> like, 20, we've been together for 22 weeks. weeks. 22 weeks. 22 weeks. Yeah. For 22 weeks, right, just three weeks to go, of course. Um, you're one of the bookies' favourites, uh, uh, the three of you, and what a trio you are too. What are you singing this weekend? Well, we've got a mashup of, uh, you know, Try, Try a Little Tenderness, tenderness. by <laughs> Pretty in Pink, by yeah. The Commitment. No, yeah. in Pretty in Pink. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is he going to yeah. get the words out on the night, boys? Yeah. <laughs> it's just morning. This is what we want. we will be a bag of nerves. Yeah. You. Just speaking of a bag of nerves, look behind you here. You know, We oh. really are on hallowed ground here. This is the rehearsal room in the X Factor House. Of course, you've got Little Mix, Leona Lewis, One Direction, Olly Mills, all of the success stories of the uh, uh, series over the last uh, few years. Extraordinary that you could soon be joining that realm of talent. I mean, I mean, that's the goal. That's the dream, boys, yeah, isn't it? It's potential. It's the wall of inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> it's the wall of inspiration. <laughs> it is. It is. Look at it like that's where we want to get to. And what is it like living under this one roof? I did point out there were 16 of you to begin with. I mean, that, as I said, cozy doesn't even come close, does it? <laughs> it was a family. Like, it was lovely, but to see everyone go, like, well, there's certain ones that we were close to as well. We were all a big family, but I feel like, you know, as the yeah. competition progressed, we're going to. Do it all for them. Do it for Very us. diplomatically put. So when he does find his words, he's on brand. I wish you all the best and all the best and good morning, Britain. The girls, of course, are rushing off to rehearsals uh, at the X Factor Studios, which aren't too far from here, over in uh, West London. So no sign of Honey G, unfortunately. No sign of Sarah and lovely Emily. I think they've just stirred from their slumber and gone straight to the shiny floor over at X Factor Central. But as we come through, watch your step, boys, come through into the main event, which is the hub of any home, of course. It's where all the parties are, and that's the kitchen. I've always wanted to come into this house and look what great company we've got here as well hey, Ryan and Matt good to see you, how are you, how are you mate you all right yeah, thank you. good to see you both do you, do you really fix your own breakfast and everything like that coffee yeah, sort of yeah, do you yeah, yeah. Because I always thought over the years that, um, and I've often said this on air at Good Morning Britain, I thought this place would be an absolute midden, filthy, basically, like <laughs> a student house. But it's really quite posh, isn't it? We're quite tidy, actually. We're quite clean, I think. Look yeah. after ourselves. <laughs> you, you, you look after yourself, don't yeah, you? And I've heard there's a PT as well, personal trainer, am I right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They get, I, think, I mean, they get really well. It's obviously, so you live in the rock and roll lifestyle. At, <laughs> come over to the hub. You live the rock and roll lifestyle as it is, don't you? I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's an experience, learning loads. <laughs> But um, it's cool. We're living the life. <laughs> We're living the life. Now, you, young man, we've got to keep you at the bottom too, right? Oh, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, this is the week that I can get through without having to be there. So. What are you singing? Hey, I'm, I don't know if I can say that one. Yeah, you can. You're okay, allowed. allowed. I've doing... already said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. I'm doing Elvis, uh, Jailhouse yeah. Rock. So From the it's movie. an old day, but it's. Um, Hopefully I can put my own spin on it and make it special. Of course you will. You'll be brilliant. What about you, young man? Uh, writing's on the wall, Sam Smith. Right. You met the bloke? Yeah. He's lovely, isn't he? Yeah, he's really cool. Yeah. Really cool. Did he give you any tips? He did. Did he? Yeah, he just said, keep doing what you're doing, and the song is really hard to sing, so look after your voice. And avoid Richard Arnold at all costs <laughs> as the final approaches. <laughs> Best of British boys. Thank Excellent. You. So we're going to go have a kick about. There's actually a football net in the back. That is a football net, isn't it? That is indeed. Yeah, I'm off game. Sorry, lads. <laughs> uh, we look forward to the weekend. Best of British. We'll see <laughs> you then. Thank and you, you have so a lovely much. weekend at home. Wow. Even oh. four of diamonds couldn't believe it. Gifty Louise, I mean, the look on your face last night said it all. And now. <laughs> what was going <laughs> on thing, in yeah. your heart? Um, I mean, I was shocked. I felt like I had been very consistent. 
every single week. I don't feel like I've had a bad week. Mm. There was a controversy about how many Fifth Harmony songs yeah. you were performing. Did you did you have a chat with him beforehand? Um, I had a chat with him after my performance on the Saturday, oh. and I told him I don't like. I'm going home, and I, I know it. Like, oh. I told him that. You had a feeling that that yeah, was going to send Yeah, because I told home. him I just even before the voting had opened. Yeah, I told him that. And, no, and did you speak to him? Give you on the Sunday afterwards as well when he, you know, got your name wrong, and, or rather um, put your name out there first before Four of Diamonds, and then swiftly. I didn't get a chance to speak to him. No, right. he had to rush off, so I didn't get a chance to speak to him. Okay, well, what would you like to say to him this morning? Uh, <laughs> obviously, I'm grateful for the opportunity. I'm grateful for the fact that he put me through as his final three girls, and he had faith in me. Like so many people auditioned to be on this show, thousands of people, and I made it to the final three girls. Like that's something to be proud of, and I'm. Um, I'm chuffed, honestly. I'm really yeah. happy. And it's interesting, you know, because we all watch the program and, you know, it's a bit of fun for us. But actually, when you're in it, this it, is your yeah. future. I mean, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, easy, to think, it's easy to just think you're all just contestants and, you yeah. know, it's just a bit of fun for everybody. Yeah. But for you, it's something really serious, is it's it? It's something really, really serious, yeah. I was hoping to have made it far. Please make on the tour. We never thought for one second if we were putting smart money on it <laughs> and going down the bookies that you would be going at this stage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still shocked. <laughs> like yeah. I think I don't think it's like sunken yet. No. I'm just still like, yeah, you know. <laughs> In the history of X Factor, presumably there is a sort of pantheon of groups and acts who do extremely well having not won. Yeah. So in many ways, you can think the fact that you're out now is no, you know, holding. Back yeah. in your career. I'm you definitely not gonna let it hold me back. No. This is just the beginning. I'm just gonna keep doing, keep singing and just milk it. <laughs> well, and why not? Yeah, well we've enjoyed the gift that keeps on giving. giving. Well done, Richard. You got it in there. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, gift to Louise, it yeah. is you know, we didn't want to see you this morning because no. we didn't want you out last night, but it is fantastic to see you and I you. you know, to end the interview with a smile on your face is what yeah. is what we were yeah. aiming for. So Thank Well you. good luck. All we've enjoyed hearing your voice. Thank Great you talent. so much. I, I mean reliving that moment, I imagine it's pretty heart rending at the time but to relive it again does it still feel as as tough <laughs> yes it was the first time i saw it i was like oh, you what know happens? oh yeah it, 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 it's tough very very tough situation is it getting any easier oh well no <laughs> <laughs> no it's not because you want to stay you know the further you go the more you want to stay of so course. it's getting harder. Yeah, but rather so. like the four times as well, you've had so many moments when you kind of thought you were almost out. Yes. How can you do this competition? <laughs> yeah, I know. So, you know, does that in a way give you a bit more strength to think, well, come on, I'm battling through, I've got something? Of course, and the judges are believing in me. Yeah. So, you know, it means so much to me. I really, really want to show why I deserve to be here. So, and I mean, there's only a few weeks to go. So the four times, obviously, yeah. they'll make the cut for the tour. You're going on the tour, yeah. which is great, the arena tour next oh, year. So okay. if you make it to the final eight acts, then mm -hmm. you're quick at least for that some mm. comfort to be taken with that at least yeah. but with only a few weeks ago Dermot said last night on the weekend like there's one percent in the top four acts so does it feel very close when you're chatting about it in the house are you aware of that yeah well we all know it's a tough competition and I think everybody deserves to be in it so it's like mm. just you know it's luck now who gets the more you know votes we had a party in Tokyo in that song you know ah. so that was it yeah and I wanted to bring something new to the song yeah. so it was kind of like my idea to bring something Asian to it but yeah. then I, it was like mainly the the intro of the song when I sang you know in an Asian Stop. way yeah? yeah but then the costume and the stage they were like whoa very produced but I I loved it yeah. I've waited for my whole life to do performances like that so oh. I was really happy to do it yeah but of course I understand the point that maybe it was a bit overproduced maybe I should strip it down yeah for the next week but it's disco week I don't know yeah, <laughs> how I'm to do that how the times I've heard that over the years, Benjamin. Um, yeah, Tisco, you just got to go large. I mean, you just got to embrace it like you did there. Yeah. You know? and just try not let the production pull focus, I suppose. It's quite difficult when you're dressed like that. Yeah. Do, you know <laughs> what you're sing Do you know what you're singing? I don't know it yet, no. So when do you get your song? Today. Do you get your song at some point today? Yeah, some point today, yeah. But I hope to have a song with, with, you know, with a big vocal range and do something 
amazing with that. Way too oh. I'm sure you'll do a stunning job, whatever it is, Sarah. Thank oh. you very much for coming and joining us. I mean, we've had people who have been posted off the X Factor sitting where you're sitting who haven't been able to crack a smile. So, <laughs> you know, you look pretty pretty relaxed about what yeah. happened. How can you smile when you lose to Honey G? I mean, she's so <laughs> awful. God, it feels terrible, isn't it? No, I, honestly, I feel really good. I feel like I've got to a good stage in the competition. Like, I've done the best I could. I'm just going to work hard from now on to make sure that my career goes well. I've judged a lot of these talent shows uh, all around the place, and the pressure on young people, particularly when they get sick, as many do, because one goes down yeah. and it's like dominoes. What is that like, that kind of pressure? It's, it is a lot of pressure. I feel like when one person catches something living together in that house, it's so quick to go around. And um, I feel like I just caught it at a wrong time. I don't know why, I feel like nerves as well kind of came into play. And um, in the performance, I think the whole situation was just a bit overwhelming, but I gave it the best and it wasn't enough. I think the problem is, and I, this is what I do feel for Ryan and for the other contestants is, X Factor isn't the voice. X Factor is an entertainment show at its heart. Mm. It's not looking for the perfect singer. And I think sometimes that's what happens. And you get someone like Honey G, who then gets caught up in the entertainment Ferrari, the fun of it. And that's what the viewers seem to like with this show. But it is really frustrating for people who can sing and do sing and do a great performance, because obviously... I would love to see Simon Cowell's face if Honey G wins. That would be <laughs> worth the admittance fee alone. Well, he's backing her completely. Oh, no, he I heard him say, to... I, I love you. To yeah. Honey G, I was like, I think he wants really? her to win. Really, Simon? Um, what is it you love about her rapping? Ryan, who would you like to win? Is it Emily? Emily, 100%, oh. yeah, definitely. What have you split up before the final? <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. The lads are in harness for another couple of years. Hopefully the girls will sign on the dotted line as well. But for now, our sights fall on these two. Brian Friedman, of course, needs no introduction. The show supremo, the man who teaches the lads and lasses of the X Factor how to throw shapes with all those dancers. Maybe you can teach me a thing or two, Brian. Maybe. That face says perhaps not. <laughs> and of course, Matt Terry, who we had on the show a couple of days ago. Matt, the Bromley boy, you went home to meet the massive how was it oh it was the best thing i've ever done it was amazing i i went back there i did not expect to see the support that i saw it was amazing i feel so grateful for it so much love for you in the room isn't there it was amazing to feel like i went back to the hometown and up the high street that i used to walk up and now it was just just full of people supporting me and it was just an amazing feeling and i really couldn't believe it the same footage, of course, we saw of Sarah Alto when she went back home and Five After Midnight as well. This is actually the most closely fought X Factor final that I can certainly remember, and I've been around a lot, haven't I, Brian? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, that look says it all. <laughs> uh, can you tell us anything about what you're going to be filming this weekend? Because everything is um, shrouded in secrecy. I can give you an exclusive on tomorrow night. Go on, then. Um, so I'm singing Take Me Home by Jess Glynn. Oh, I love Jess Glynn. Yeah, so I'm really excited. Um, I'm nervous, but Brian's done an awesome job on the creative, so I'm so excited to go. You are in very good hands with this man we know we've got little mix in the mix we've got uh, the weekend and we've got kylie performing as i say no revelation as to who you'll be singing with yet all the other acts brian i know your lips are sealed on that but how have the guys been this year because obviously you're at the front of the engine dealing with their nerves when you've got to choreograph them yeah they've been incredible i mean it's probably the calmest most sweet group of top three that i've ever had here um i think that they like each other which makes a big difference because they're really supportive of each other and they're gonna smash it tomorrow night i feel really confident about this show and do you ramp it up yourself when it's the final, of course? Because it is one of the biggest TV yeah. events of the year. And I know you mix it up with a few dances every week, but with the final, it, you must give it all the sizzle. Well, I mean, we can build things in here that we can't build at Poor Fountain. So we, we can go big, and we're going very big, especially for Matt's Take Me Home. I smell pyros. Oh, you do. <laughs> and I also smell the sweet smell of success from this young lad here. But remember, there are two other finalists as well. Matt, God bless you from all of us at Thank Good Morning Green. So Wish you all the very best. Thank you so much. And you, you can teach me to cha cha and talk, could you, Brian? We'll work it out. We'll yeah. work it out. I'll see you later. Have a good weekend. <laughs> Didn't look very keen, Is did he? Is that the choreographer version for no? Yeah. <laughs>